Okay, students, we are back again with the second part or the second half of the chapter, the untrained mathematician. So let us move to the next slide and understand the chapter. Students, we saw in the first part or the first half of the chapter that Ramanujan wrote a letter to G.H. Hardy, right? And this letter also had nine pages of theorems enclosed with it. The theorems were written legible. That means they were written very neatly so that it could be read easily. G.H. Hardy read the letter and took a casual look at the pages and thought that Ramanujan is an another Indian crank. So he carried on with his day as any other usual day. But something about the formulas intrigued him. Then he decided to consult his fellow mathematician, John and Sir Littlewood. Then they both poured over the theorems. They realized that they were looking at the work of a brilliant mind. Ramanujan's theorem created a buzz which kept Cambridge mathematical circles excited. Hardy then wrote back to Ramanujan. So now let us read what Hardy wrote. Let's move to the next slide and read it. Let us read G.H. Hardy's letter to Ramanujan. The letter was written from Trinity College, Cambridge on 8th February 1913. He wrote, Dear Sir, I was exceedingly interested by your letter and the theorems. You will however understand that before I can judge properly of the value of what you have done, it is essential that I should see proofs of some of your assertions. So yes, he was asking for the proofs, right? I need not say that if what you say about your lack of training is to be taken literally, the fact that you should have discovered such interesting results is also to your credit. I hope very much that you will send me as quickly as possible a few of your proofs. He had also underlined as quickly as possible. Why? Because he was also very eager to see the proofs. Right. And follow this more at your leisure. By a more detailed account of your work on primes and divergent series, it seems to me quite likely that you have done a good deal of work worth publication. And if you can produce satisfactory demonstrations, I should be very glad to do what I can to secure it. So, he said, your work is worth publication, right? Hoping to hear from you again as soon as possible. I am yours very truly, G.H. Hardy. Soon after this students, a coincidence happened. Gilbert Walker, a former lecturer of mathematics at Trinity, was the head of the Indian Meteorological Institute in Shimla. He was passing through Madras on 25th February when Sir Francis Spring, the chief engineer and chairman of Madras Port Trust, insisted him to look at Ramanujan's notebooks. And the next day only Walker wrote to Madras University that Ramanujan should be supported as a research student. Plus, Hardy's interest in Ramanujan's work convinced everyone about Ramanujan's extraordinary merit. Right? After this, Ramanujan again wrote to Hardy and showed his gratitude. Let us read what he wrote. On 27th February 1913, he wrote, Dear Sir, I am very much gratified on pursuing your letter of 8th February 1913. I have found a friend in you who views my labor sympathetically. What I want at this stage is for eminent professors like you to recognize that there is some worth in me, which encourages me now to proceed onward. For my results are verified to be true, even though I may take my stand upon slender basis. Any sympathetic letter from you will be helpful to me here to get a scholarship, either from the university or government. You may judge me hard that I am silent on the methods of proof. You will not be able to follow my methods of proof if I indicate the lines on which I proceed in a single letter. I do not mean that the method should be buried with me. With kind regards, 
yours very truly as ramanujan now why was ramanujan sure that it would be very difficult for hardy to understand his methods of proof because you people already know ramanujan used to skip his steps while solving his sums and he also mostly solved them mentally right he used to solve his sums mentally okay so let us move forward in april 1914 hardy arranged for ramanujan to join cambridge and after that ramanujan and hardy collaborated that is worked together on many projects and published joint papers the picture over here is of trinity college university of cambridge where you can clearly see hardy and ramanujan so here we end our chapter we will meet again in the next video till then take care